Hello everyone, my name is Queen Jamila and I am live at KNH about to interview the famous Governor Ramesh Saxena who goes by the popular saying that audacity will lead us home. So if you are audacious enough, make sure you watch this video till the end and subscribe for more. Thank you. A little introduction. My name is Ramesh Saxena. I'm a fifth year medical student at the University of Nairobi. I also serve as governor of the Faculty of Health Sciences. Why are the allocation of students' hostel always late and disorganized? And how can you assist in the prompt allocation? That's a very good question because it's an issue that we've been dealing with in the past weeks or months. Uh, so when we came into office, our commitment was that we will push for uh, structured allocation of hostels and prioritization of the students of the Faculty of Health Sciences. However, I have to admit that during the allocation, we've had several challenges. And I have to highlight that most of these challenges are systematic. And they are not just challenges that are specific for our faculty. Uh, these are challenges that have been experienced uh, all over the school. Uh, so it's something that the institution has to deal with. One thing that I have to point out is that uh, we've had uh, a problem with promotion of our students, which lies with the Office of the Academic Registrar. You find that uh, students are coming back to school, allocation of hostels is supposed to be done, yet the students have not been promoted. On the end of Student Welfare Authority, you cannot allocate hostels to a student that has not been promoted. So you find that we spend a lot of time going from uh, SWA to Academic Registrar, just to have our students promoted, then to have their location done. Yes, uh, as, as, as UNSA, we are going to uh, speak to the school as part of our recommendation to have uh, decentralization of the allocation of hostels. I think that will uh, help big time. And we've also spoken to the faculty dean, Professor Osanjo, to make sure that before our students resume, a promotion has been done and that uh, the authority that is able to allocate rooms won't find any excuse of not giving our students rooms. Why are there no specific hostels for international students as most times they arrive and feel very stranded? The problem that we've been facing over the years and we've been trying to find a solution to it so on our end, uh, we've been trying to have uh, orientation sessions for these students uh, during the first week when they join school so that they can settle in smoothly. It is a fact that the university cannot accommodate every student. It is also a fact that the university cannot have a special hostel for any student because that will be, you know, ostracizing you from the rest of the students when we should be mingling as one. So we try to... You know, we try to accommodate the number that we can. We have uh, international students in some of our hostels. And the number that we cannot, uh, the university has made collaborations with companies like Kwetu uh, that provide uh, great apartments with great rates for our international students. It seems like UNSA cares about Model 1. For example, why can't the gate near Techno Pitch be opened to ease commuters into the school and avoid jumping over the fence? <laughs> uh, uh, I'll admit that that's, uh, it's a sad question, actually, uh, even though it's, it's kind of hilarious. Uh, it's unfortunate that our students have to jump over the fence to access the institution and uh, I admit that you know plans should be made to make things right to have our students that come as far as Ngara and Kwetu hostels access the school as easy as any other student uh, that is coming to uh, the school yeah so I'll also have to say that UNSA does not favor module 1 students and we should not have a demarcation between a module one student and a module two student. We are all the students of the University of Nairobi, and that is what matters at the end of the day. We shall serve you diligently, uh, no matter uh, where you come from, no matter the course that you do, no matter the faculty that you come from. We extend that as well. 
What can you do concerning bad toilets in the hostels? Also, rooms without locks. It gives insecure feeling in the hostels. It exposes the sad situation that is existing in the halls of residences of our students. Um, there are many problems, more than have been mentioned in, 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 in your question. We have uh, problems of leaking roofs. We have problems with drainage uh, in some halls. And uh, these are things that we've really tried to sort out. And uh, we have collaborated with uh, the ONSA Council team also to have this addressed. We have talked to the school, but uh, as you've heard, uh, there's been little help uh, coming uh, the way of the students. You realize that if your hostel is bad, uh, your level of patience is also short. And we do understand. On our end, at the Kenyatta Medical Student Hostels, we've done much to ensure that the living conditions are good and that they match what the students pay for. We have tried to have the halls innovated. Uh, we have uh, repaired uh, broken doors. And we have also uh, made sure that there is electricity in floors that didn't have electricity at all. And we also have uh, plants uh, that uh, in the coming days will be rolled. We have uh, new trash cans for waste management in the halls of residence. We also have plans uh, to repair doors, all broken doors uh, in blocks, hostels in Kenyatta. And there are also plans uh, to repair all leaking roofs in Kenyatta. Uh, for the hostels in main campus, we have decided to collaborate because you realize that there are many faculties involved. In Hall 10, you will find that Chiromo is in charge. Hall 1, Chiromo will be in charge. And there are hostels that main campus are in charge. So ours, ours is to collaborate with these faculties and to push for a quick solution to our problems. Yes. In some girls' hostels, the caretakers harass them to the point of threatening not to sign them in kindly how can this matter be addressed uh that's a serious matter and uh, it deserves all the attention it needs we do not take lightly any harassment or any form of exploitation to our students once you are allocated a room and once you've paid you have all the rights to sign into the room unless there's any there's a disciplinary case uh, pending against you which should be uh, sorted through a due process, you should be given a fair, uh, a fair hearing uh, and anyone that is trying to exploit you or anyone that is trying to harass you should be brought to books. So if uh, you experience such a case, kindly be prompt in reaching out to us and we shall uh, do uh, what is right and we shall bring them to books. Yes. Okay. How can transcripts be gotten on time because the management delays the process? That's, that's also a concern among many students. So uh, we said that you can get your transcript uh, via a request through email or you can present yourself physically uh, to the academic registrar and uh, tell the office that you'd like uh, a transcript. On the issue of students that wish to transfer, you realize that if we have so many requests, we have uh, time will have to be taken to process them. And it is necessary for a student to express the agency with which they need this uh, transcript. If you go to the academic registrar's office and tell them that you need this uh, transcript as soon as possible and tell them why, there should be no reason for them to delay your transcript. If there is such a case, always reach out to us. We are on standby. And we shall always make sure that you get your transcript in good time. Concerning the telecom bundles, some months are not reimbursed. What can you say about that? I'll admit uh, that's, that's the elephant in the room. Even as we speak, we have a very live problem with the issuance of telecom lines and the disbursement of the monthly summer telecom data bundles. Yeah, so it's, it's a matter that we've taken to heart. Uh, many will agree that we've been following this up every other day. 
uh, we've been circulating forms for students who missed out on this disbursement. And when we started, the process was very seamless because we will collect data from the students and we will communicate with the school and the recharge will be done. And lately, we've, we've had uh, so many troubles going around this issue. Uh, we've visited offices, we've uh, talked to uh, our offices here in, in, in the faculty, and we had no option to go to main campus to speak to the highest office there is. And uh, there are matters that uh, we need to uh, contain because uh, these officers claim that most of the students in the institution have resumed physical learning, so there is really no necessity uh, of issuance of these telecom uh, bundles. But again, you you have to agree with me that most of our learning is blended. We do physical and we do online classes. A majority of these theoretical classes are online. That means that we, unlike other faculties, deserve these bundles and they have to be issued to the students. So my commitment is that we shall not tire until we have a solution, even if it means that the university will be disbursing these bundles only to the students of the Faculty of Health Sciences, it will be done because that is what we pay for. What is the update on Wi-Fi installation in Soweto and weak Wi-Fi in KNH? Uh, uh, we have had that conversation with the Director ICT of the uni uh, University of Nairobi and he assured us that uh, the installation of Wi-Fi within the institution is done in phases. Uh, the last phase being uh, the installation that was done in main campus around hostels like Hall 9, Hall 4, Hall 10. And uh, he said that there is a plan to have a Wi-Fi installed uh, around our Soweto hostels. And uh, you will also agree with me that we've had an upgrade of Wi-Fi around block hostels. However, there are many spots that are very uh, still have slow Wi-Fi. We've had complaints about spots like the library. There is also a spot in Soweto that is also very slow. We raised that issue and the feedback we got is that, you know, there are different uh, types of, of, of routers and, and the Wi-Fi that are being uh, rolled out. And uh, there's a commitment by the school to always upgrade uh, to the fastest uh, uh, Wi-Fi available. And we're following up on that. We shall not uh, let you down. Yes. Can all lectures be online and exams physically? Because the first years are stressed. All right. Okay, that's a tricky spot there. Um, you know, it's 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 we've we've made so many steps as as much as as far as technology is concerned, and as far as these online classes and online exams are concerned. First, it gives us uh, convenience. A lecturer can teach you from wherever they are. And I have to admit that physical classes have so many challenges, fast of capacity. You find that uh, students always fill these rooms to the brim and you really gain less or less. However, uh, in the light of all this, we cannot have all classes online. You know, medical uh, practice is, is hands-on. And you cannot go out there and convince people that you are a doctor back or you are nurse baked, or you are a dentist baked solely on online classes and physical exams. And uh, we've had several questionnaires to the students, and the general uh, take of the students is that we can have a hybrid learning, a blended learning where we blend online sessions, uh, which are convenient, and physical sessions, which are necessary. Thank you. Okay. Can the university health services switch from Karen to Nairobi Hospital because the drug scents are really stocked and the chief pharmacist treats students with contempt as reported? First, I'll say that these are very unfortunate reports. Uh, every staff, every student should be nice to one another. It's uh, common human decency to be nice. That's a first. Second, the issue of transfer of healthcare services from Karen to Nairobi Hospital is hugely an administrative uh, role. And we, the students as stakeholders, can only advise. Okay, 
one thing that I'll have to say is that we must not jump into quick solution. If the system is bad, we must first find ways to rectify the system before totally uh, requesting for an overhaul. In this regard, I urge our students to always uh, make reports whenever there's any staff that is supposed to render services to the students that is rude or dismissive to you and we shall take it with the right uh, channel and we shall bring it up with the administration. Second, if uh, you go to these facilities after being referred and you do not find drugs, you should also make a report of the same because we pay to be covered by the uh, university, we pay to be treated by the university, and we also pay so that we can access drugs within the university clinics and referral center. The ICT department is slow at responding emails. What can you say about that? That's also a valid concern, yes. Uh, one, I have to say that the ICT department does not have so many hands to, you know, answer uh, all our emails. And in this regard, as a student leader, it is my role to ensure that our students don't have to contact the ICT individually to be sorted. We have to resort for collecting, uh, collective solutions where we as the student leaders have to do class emails or collective emails to the ICT to solve these problems where there are uh, class issues. This way, uh, a student won't have to do an individual email to get a solution to their problem within the university. How can one start their political journey? Okay, uh, one, others start the journey. Two, others find themselves in the journey. Three, others are thrust in the journey. But what's constant is that you should start where you are, in your class, in the field, wherever you are, do what you have to do, lead your people, and they shall give you more responsibility. And that is how you become a politician in school, through service. What positions are for first years in UNSA? Uh, the UNSA Constitution 2017 uh, does not uh, give uh, the first years a chance to run for an elective post. Uh, within you know the confines of, of, of the executive but uh, as a first year or as a freshman you have the choice to serve your faculty in various uh, committees first at uh, the professional body level second at the owner level we have several committees that you can join one it is important that you gain experience within your first year so that you can be able to lead your students you can only lead the people when you know their challenges and it takes time. And that is why I feel that that clause was not included in uh, the UNSA constitution. Fun fact, I have served in uh, many, many committees. Uh, before I became the chairperson of the Faculty of Health Sciences, I had not had any elective post within, within this faculty, but I served diligently uh, in committees in Amson and committees in UNSA and that's that's have been uh, very helpful in, in making this journey possible so you too uh, is uh, you are not limited uh, as a freshman you are not limited as a third year start where you are and grow big why do you have an indian name uh, that's a question i've been asked for the longest time and uh, it's part of uh, who I am, it's part of my mystery, so I won't disclose that. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> How do you manage blogging on Twitter and studying? Give us a hint of your time management. Uh, first, I'm, I'm not always on Twitter, as many uh, tend to believe. Uh, my account has so many tweets, which are not done by me. Uh, fun fact, I have uh, social media account handlers and they are responsible for most of my posts. I, I post uh, once in a while, uh, engage friends or, or comment on issues of national importance. But mostly I, 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 I study hard. That's, that's, that's a fact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are you and G2 brothers because you seem to always be around each other? 
uh, it, it's often said that uh, a friend in need is a friend indeed, but I'll also say that a friend in need is a brother indeed, and then that's what uh, G2 has been to me. I met G2 in first year, actually, and uh, I was an introvert then, I've said this before. Yeah, we've walked this journey, we've done politics, we've done things beyond politics, and we share a lot. We share common friends, we share common interests, and we share, you know, uh, we do we do things uh, as brothers, and, and I'd say that it qualifies uh, to be called a brother. G2 is my brother. Are you single? Uh, I, I think I'll, I'll need my lawyer for this. <laughs> I prefer not to speak because if I speak, I'm, I'm in very, very big trouble. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fair enough. Do you think you have achieved the goal set when you showed interest to be voted for? And so far, can you list a number of your achievements? Uh, it's a fact we have done much. It's also a fact that there's much to be done. And uh, we are ready to do that, to work with our students to the end, as we promised. And we are not at a place that we wish to be, though we have made several uh, steps uh, toward the right direction, and we are proud of the work that we've done so far. One sector that we have had is the transport sector. When we got in, we were in such a mess. Students were walking to rotation centers and all that. Currently, uh, we've had little complaints. We have always availed the bus in time. We constituted a, a transport uh, committee that is always coordinating the transport of buses and uh, according to the schedules of our students. Our professional bodies have always uh, gotten buses upon request. And uh, we've always had buses for extra uh, curricular activities. And uh, one uh, area that we are still pushing for is to get back our night bus, uh, which used to transport our students from the Kenyatta Library back to main campus. Uh, okay, second, on accommodation, we have uh, done much also. We have uh, repaired broken doors in Soweto. Uh, everyone can testify to that fact. And uh, fifth floor in Soweto did not have electricity in the sockets. Students used to get electricity from the roof, which was very sad. The situation is different now. Everything is okay. Uh, we are also uh, replacing waste camps uh, in all the Kenyatta Medical Student Hostels. And uh, also, we are planning to repair all leaking roofs uh, within the blocks. Uh, that has also been a very big challenge, but we are working on that. And we, we, we are glad that we have done this. And uh, Hall 1 in main campus, which solely accommodated our students, uh, the students of the Faculty of Health Sciences, has been renovated after a very long time, which is something that we are proud to report about. On the issue of the autonomy to our professional body, UNSA Faculty of Health Sciences has ensured that every professional body within the faculty is independent and can do uh, their activities unperturbed or with no interference from our end. Uh, we've also uh, collaborated with some of our professional bodies uh, to give uh, activities to our students. Uh, Amson Scientific Conference partly uh, was uh, a collaborative work between Amson and UNSA. Uh, we came in uh, and, and that was a hugely successful uh, activity. We've also been attending uh, all, almost all uh, the activities carried out by professional bodies has had one or more uh, representative from uh, the UNSA team, which in our part we see that it's a very important uh, thing to do to show that we are in solidarity and no one is left behind. Uh, during the orientation of the first years, which uh, brought a big problem last year, we had a very small operation with these professional bodies because this time UNSA did not pitch any tent, UNSA did not have any interest, we sold nothing to the students, and we were only there to coordinate the work of the professional bodies, which we did well and excellently, and we are proud of the work that we've done in that sphere. Thank Wonderful. You. Yeah. We promised to do much on matters of external links 
And on that regard also, we have done much. We have collaborated with KMPDU. Uh, the last activity we did with KMPDU was the presentation of our petition at Afia House, where we got to engage uh, the CS Health, uh, Nakumisha. Uh, and it was, it was a hugely successful deliberation. We also uh, went with KMPDU to uh, Melimani Locals, where there were uh, uh, issues that were being contended there. And we provided our voice, not just for us, the students, but for the health, uh, healthcare workers uh, in the nation as a whole. These are things that we promised to do, and we are happy to report that we've done them, and we are still committing to do them uh, within uh, the time that we are left with. The last bit that I highlight is uh, on matters sports. We have done much. The last activity that we did as uh, the faculty was joint, the University Sports Day, uh, which was on uh, 3rd of November, where our faculty uh, became the best faculty overall, uh, of, of the 13 faculty that participated, and that is something worth reporting. We are very proud of our fans, we are very proud of our captains, and we are very proud of our sports and welfare representative, Kanabu, uh, that uh, made sure that we brought this home. Okay, on, on the other end, we've also done so much uh, to ensure that board games and other indoor games are encouraged in our uh, faculty. We made uh, purchases of several board games. We have chess, we have sequence, we have Monopoly, name it. And this time we are making them accessible to our students. If you need a board game uh, to play with your friends, you can always reach out to any of the executive and you shall have it. On another perspective also, we have acquired uh, football kits, two sets of football jerseys for our teams. Uh, I'm sure most of you have seen them in the fields. And that's also a, a, a work that we are very proud of. And also, we have a planned chess tournament coming up. We shall be having people playing chess, and we do not restrict this to chess only. We shall be having several board games. People will be playing Scrabble. People will be playing Sequence. People will be playing Monopoly. And we shall award the best, uh, uh, the best uh, students in, in chess uh, the runners up, we shall also uh, uh, we shall also award them, and uh, we shall also give refreshments for everyone, and, and we we are proud of that. Uh, this is something that has not happened before, and um, it's a milestone that we have to report home about. Thank you, Queen, for giving me this platform. I'm, I'm very grateful. And to our students, uh, let's hang in there. Let's continue with the journey. All shall be well. And remember, where everything fails, audacity will lead us.